Welcome to Nursing School Explained in this video on the assessment of the Babinski reflex. So we're going to strike the bottom of the patient's foot with an instrument and best is to either use the bottom part of a reflex hammer, which can be a little bit pointy, so we want to be careful with that. You could theoretically use a pen also, just keep in mind for infection control purposes, you probably don't want to put that pen in your pocket after. So be very wise with whatever instrument you choose. It has to be somewhat sturdy though, because we have to exert a, a good amount of pressure on the patient's heel, on the patient's bottom of the foot. And so we want to start, I'm just going to outline this from the bottom and then strike it up to the, what's the, the fifth um, toe here and then come across the ball of the foot all the way over there and we're going to observe if the toes curl at all. So I'm going to start down here and like exert a pretty good pressure and then start by running it up and across. And you saw the toes here curl. We're going to do this again. And now he's a little ticklish. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Whoops. Okay, so the toes curled on this side. So now let's check the other side. Same thing. Okay, and one more time. Good. So as you saw, this is actually a normal response and a negative Babinski reflex. If all toes or some of them curl down or there is no response, it is considered a negative Babinski. The Babinski reflex is considered positive and normal in children until the age of two years old or until they walk. And the positive Babinski would be that the big toe dorsiflexes, meaning it goes up, dorsiflexion versus plantar flexion. I remember by plantar flexion going towards the plants, dorsiflexion going up. So positive Babinski would be with the big toe dorsiflexing and all the other toes fanning out like that. So that would be a positive Babinski reflex, only normal in children up to two years old or until they walk. In adults or children greater than two years old, if the Babinski reflex is positive, that could mean that there is either drug or alcohol intoxication or some sort of upper motor neuron disease, such as a stroke, ALS, multiple sclerosis, and also B12 deficiency can cause that. Thank you very much for watching this video on the assessment of the Babinski reflex. Always remember to check both sides and be very careful with the instrument that you choose for infection control purposes. Also check out the other skills videos for other reflexes and general skills. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained. See you soon.